Cambridge Analytica did work for Leave. EU emails show. Here's a summary of the article. Chargeable work was completed for UKIP and Leave EU, and I have strong reasons to believe that those datasets and analyzed data processed by Cambridge Analytica were later used by the Leave EU campaign without Cambridge Analytica's further assistance. Kaiser wrote in a letter to Damian Collins, chair of the committee. The emails show Cambridge Analytica staff, including Julian Wheatland, the company's chief operating officer, discussing with Leave. I had a call with Andy Wigmore today and he confirmed that, even though we haven't got the contract with the leave written up, it's all under control and it will happen just as soon as Matthew Richardson has finished working out the correct contract structure between UKIP, CA and leave, Wheatland said in an email to Cambridge Analytica staff. Cambridge Analytica was never paid for the work it carried out. In her letter to Collins, Kaiser said, despite having no signed contract, the invoice was still paid, not to Cambridge Analytica but instead paid by Aaron Banks to UKIP directly. This payment was then not passed on to Cambridge Analytica for the work completed, as an internal decision in UKIP, as their party was not the beneficiary of the work, but leave, EU was, EU, said in 2018 that Cambridge Analytica received no data or undertook any modeling for leave, EU. At the time, Aaron Banks said, Leave, EU did not receive any data or work from Cambridge Analytica, UKIP did give Cambridge Analytica some of its data and Cambridge Analytica did some analysis of this. But it was not used in the Brexit campaign. Cambridge Analytica tried to make me pay for that work but I refused. It had nothing to do with us, Collins told The Guardian. There are important questions to follow up, in particular whether the data sets created by Cambridge Analytica were used the referendum or other campaigns and if they were, whether or not it was a breach of data protection law for UKIP voter data to be used in this way, that certainly seems to be something that they themselves were concerned about. This post received a score of 13,587, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Because of course they did. You can go watch Cambridge Analytica talk about all the data they're going to use to get Brexit going at the Brexit launch event. The Great Hack on Netflix mentions the Leave.eu connection as well. It examines Cambridge Analytica very thoroughly, with the help of a former Cambridge Analytica director turned whistleblower. Watched it over the weekend, scary stuff. Worth a look. Coming to an election in your country 2020 style. Already came, worked during Trump versus Hillary campaign. Yeah, I think that the only difference is that both sides will be using hyper-targeted Facebook ads this time around. The DNC learned their lesson from 2016, and had some effective experiments with PSYOPs-style targeted advertising in 2018. It was similar to the Cambridge Analytica-style personalized opposition ads as well, as that were more designed to build up hatred and apathy of the Republican candidate than love for the Democratic one. I learned about them from an NPR podcast of all places. Sounds like the future of electoral politics is going to be very healthy. Eventually, cities and countries will be governed by AI like in Neon Genesis. I, for one, cannot wait for our robot overlords. They lied. Unbelievable. I suppose it's okay as this is the one and only lie. Can't let this tarnish the reputation of a stand-up company like Cambridge Analytica. They changed their name after they were outed. Still doing the same manipulative shit though. What's their name now? Emma Data, formerly known as Cambridge Analytica. Their wiki is a chamber of shame and woe. Fuck them hard. And Auspex International. As both have UK elements, or are UK companies, they are listed on Companies House, the government's database of companies including members, tax returns etc. Interesting for a bit of a snoop into who's involved with each. The last few years have seen the worst predictions on the abuse of big data analytics coming true. Except that as it turns out, you don't even need to be the big company owning the data Google, Facebook, etc. to massively abuse it, you just need to pretend to be an ad partner to get the data and mine it. Which is even worse, welcome to the world where any shitty company or government can datamine your country's personal data to enact psychological manipulation on a national scale. Then you consider that e.g., between Google Netflix pretty much every single video I've watched in the past couple of years is known to them. I keep Google location history on, because it's helped me out in the past. I use Google Maps on virtually every drive, as it helps me avoid traffic. 
If you can cause so much chaos with a few thousand data points, whatever would happen if someone used, say, Google's full knowledge of me to try and change my behavior? This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.